Howdy farmers, it's Red Knight here and welcome back to another edition of Hey Day with yours truly. Now today's video is going to be focusing on the event that we've already started. And I love this event because it gives me the opportunity to expand my experience. Now currently within the game I am a level 97 player and I'm getting really really close to leveling up to level 98. So in this video that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this truck event and I'm going to get lots of experience points. Now, as you can see from looking at my score here, I'm on 660,225, and I will soon have 674,000, and that's what I need to become level 98. And then when I get to level 98, five diamonds. Oh my god, five diamonds! I say you cannot wait to get that. So, let's start having a look. Now, this is the board down here, and there's something really, really special today. So, let's go and find out what it is. Now, we need to come down to the event board and mm, what is that I see I wonder is that a truck <laughs> we know it's a truck let's go and have a look wow I've got two days and 21 hours left on the clock and every truck that I do will get me two times experience points and did you just see the way it just jump straight to that so let's go do that again that was so cool so tap on the track and whoosh and it's taking me straight to the board and even the horses like it oh my god that's wonderful right what does it say your product are the talk of the town. I know because my products are fantastic. Everything is grown on my farm and it tastes really really good. So no chemical sprays, everything is organic and it tastes really really wonderful. So let's continue reading. All truck deliveries completed during the event will give you double experience rewards. Whoa! Double experience rewards. Oh my god, is that not wonderful? I love these events and I think you do too, don't you everybody? Now get to producing those supplies. The townsfolk are eager for more. I know. So let's press the button again and jump on over. And here we have a little board. Now currently at the moment I have some orders with green tick marks, two orders with nothing on them and a blank space. Hmm, I wonder what this means, I wonder. Let's go and have a look-see. Right, okay, the ones that don't have any items are after fish fillets and raspberries. Hmm, but look at those experience point scores there. Oh my god. Now, I need 14,000, so here's 4,000 straight away. Boom! Did you see that one go, everybody? One truck delivered on its way and soon to be returned. And then I will get 4,000 points for one truck delivery. And oh my god, that takes me so close to my final total. I cannot wait. Now, I've got some people standing here. What do they want? So, hi, mum sent me to buy some stuff. What does she want? Lettuce? That's a lot of lettuce, young lady. What are you doing with it? So, I'm afraid you can go away. No. Look at that, everybody. Look at that. 664,000 now. Oh, my goodness me. And what should we choose here? There's one here for 1,300. Let's do that one as well. Oh, goody. I'm so happy about this. What do you want? He wants cotton. Mm. Okay, here you go. I think I'd be generous today. That's it. Do a little wiggle. So, oh, he's dancing. He's dancing. Did you see that, everybody? He did a little wiggle. And the truck is on its way back. Come on, Mr. Truck. Give me my experience points. What's it going to be this time? Let's get this one done as well. Look at that. Oh, my goodness me. So, 665,000. We are getting so close. Another 1,300 points there on its way. I'm so liking that one. Now, this one here needs some fish fillets, so let's go and get some fillets from my fishing area. While the truck's busy, we might as do a spot of fishing. And I've got some nets out there, so three fillets there, another three fillets over there. I do like these big nets. They do allow me to catch lots of fish and come back later. Can look at that. So, all of those fillets there, I do think I can do a few of these trucks. Oh yeah, I'm so happy about that.
That one I'm going to have to wait nine hours and four minutes before that one's ready. Cool. Right, five hours, six hours for that one. Collect some more of those. My ducks are ready, so lots of beautiful feathers there. I guess I can make some more pillows and blankets. Let's put those nets back into the water and get them on the go for later because there are lots of lobsters in my water and my lobsters do taste pretty good, if I do say so myself. I love lobsters, don't you, everybody? Right, any lures there I can be making? Oh my goodness me, I'm running out of lures. In fact, I've got zero lures left now. Oh my god, did you see that? I've got no lures left. So every time I make a, f a lure now, I'm going to have to use the red lures. Oh dear. Right, how's my tackle box doing? Mm, getting very close, that's nice. But not so good on the vouchers. I think I'm going to have to do a few more. Right, now I wonder, will any of these truck requests be for anything wonderful? Let's do that one. Oh my goodness me, 667,000. I'm getting so close to that level up. And you can just see the points gradually moving towards that grand total of 674, everybody. Once we get that, wow, five diamonds. I so cannot wait to level up. Now I've God, one day and 18 hours left for my task. What am I doing, I wonder? Strawberries, five hours and 33 minutes. They will be ready for me tomorrow morning when I get up. Ah, Eva, thank you very much. That was really nice of you to do that bush. And I hope that one does contain something really cool inside. Wow, look at that lot. So chop that one down. That one's going as well. Uh-oh, I do believe. Ah, there's a revive. That one's going. Another revive option there. Ah, a few revives if anybody is around and would like them. There go all of my axes gradually one after the other. I'm Dear, that's not good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So, Andrea, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was really nice of you to do those bushes. And I think I need some more bushes added down there. So let's get some more on the go there. Now, I'm not going to be doing too many this time. Let's change my design, I think. So, that looks good. That looks good. I do like that. I think that looks rather beautiful. And my bees are happy too, which is really important. Right, my truck is back. Let's collect that. And let's see how close it's taking us. Oh, wow. 669,000. We are getting so close. Oh, no. Look at that one. So, a blanket. Do we have any blankets in there? No. So, I better make some of those. But those blankets will take hours, and I do not have hours to wait, so I'm going to say goodbye to that one and do a smaller one. Hmm. They just used all of my coffee, so, or should I say my espresso? Let's get some more on the go. So, Miad, thank you very much. I hope those ones contain some thank you cards as well. And thank you very much for doing that. It was really nice of you. And here comes my truck down the road. Look at the beautiful design on that one. And watch out for my dogs. Watch out for my horse. And he pulls up in front of my farmhouse. And more experience points. Right, everybody. I need 4,000 points now. Or exactly 3,095. Is there going to be something special here? Ooh, we've got lots of points there. Let's go and get that one. Collecting the resources. Look at that one. 1,518 points there. Oh my god, I can't wait. I'm getting so close to this. <laughs> Level 98, here I come. And then only two more levels to go. Oh my god. Two more levels. Two more levels and then I will be level 100. <laughs> so close. I like that. I do love this truck. It looks so cool. Do you see the way he just skids around that corner? And look at the way you actually get the coins when you tap on it. So, tap on that and push! They go all over the place. Oh, wow! Look at this. One more order and that's taken us over the limit, everybody. So, are you ready? This will be the magic order that gets me to level 98. Level 98. I can't wait. I'm so happy. It really makes my day. <clears throat> I know, young lady. It's going to be so cool, isn't it? You want strawberries as well. Let's see. Okay, here you go. You can have some strawberries because I'm feeling really pleased at the moment.
strawberries, strawberries. Are you ready, everybody? Level 98, here we go. Oh, 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 oh my god, look at that. Level 98. Red Knight is now a level 98 farmer. It's taken me all this time and I've finally done it. I've got up to level 98. And look at that, everybody. Five diamonds. Does that not look so cool? I'm really pleased now. I'm quite happy. So, oh, cool, sweet. I like that. I like that a lot. And there we go, five diamonds, same up to 64. And what's my level I now need to get? Now, to reach level 99, I'm going to need 685,000 points. <gasps> oh my god! Do you see that? 685,000! But it's okay, I've got 1,000 points already, so that won't be so challenging. I only need to get another 684,000, and I've got one, two, three, four, five threshold rewards there as well. Five diamonds, two extra the land perfect now the two extra land will be really really good that will take me up to a total of 128 land so when I get to level 99 that's it 128 land pieces that will make it so much easier when it comes to doing the derby tasks I can't wait for that that will be useful now in the meantime I need to start getting some more experience points so let's just do the rest of these before I start looking at some farm reviews in fact, no, I will leave those there till later, and maybe those ones will come back, and I will do those a little bit later. Now, today's video is also going to focus on some of the requests that people have been sending me. So, within this area here, you'll see lots of names for people over the past few days who have sent me invitations to join their hoods. And I'm going to have a look through some of these and do some reviews for their farms on camera. So you can see my facial expressions, you can see how I'm going to respond, and then later you can check your video and enjoy. Right, so the first one I'm going to look at is called Kingwood. This is by Tyler's Farm. So this one here has been here for four days, nine hours and 46 minutes. So a long time. Let's go and have a look. Right, this is a level 38 farm, and I do like what I'm looking at here straight away. And there is a outhouse hotel at the back. Oh, wow, isn't that beautiful? I do like that. That's quite charming. As we move around here, very nice indeed, very nice. I like this a lot. Oh, there's a toolbox. Let's take that one, and it's locked. Hmm. Okay, right. Now, I do think we got a winner here, everybody. I do like some of what I'm looking at, and I really do like some of the design layout. It's really nice and interesting. Now, if we look at this area here, you've got the use of the three smelters, you've got the jewelers in the center there, and surrounding each of those buildings and machines, you've got a really nice concrete path. They've actually used a single wall piece to break up the actual angles, then they've got this nice beautiful fence line as well that's not closing everything in. So you can walk into this land, you can harvest these crops very, very easy, and this looks quite beautiful. And you can even see down here they've got this empty space here for when they would like to start adding in their next smelter or maybe they're going to put something else there I do like that a lot that's quite charming now moving further down here on the farm I like their driveway I like the fact that they're using the wall again as a nice little broken up piece there leading into the trees and then you've got these different hedgerows and wall pieces just here by the rest of the machines even the fact that they're using the actual trees as well within the design here is really, really creative. And I like this one a lot. I'm really pleased. And as you can see, because this is only a level 38 farm, he's got lots of space here for when he starts to add new machines. I think that's really cool. Now, because he is such a lower level still, he's got all of this land over here that he's got to expand. Now, at the moment, the farm is becoming very crowded, but I think it's not overly crowded. I like the fact he's got this beautiful outhouse style building at the back there behind the silo. Uh, I like the way that he's actually using the benches, the topiary and the other decoration here with the actual animal houses to make a wonderful design. This is a nice farm and I do like what I'm looking at. I'm quite impressed with some of this. I love this change with the hedgerow. I like the fact he's got this nice beautiful green here, then he's got the flowered hedgerow, then the green again, and then the flowered hedgerow. That does blend in so nicely. 
Now, because he is limited on space, he's keeping all of his animal pens together in the one area. Now, even though he's doing this, and I don't always like this, I'm not going to comment negatively about this, because I do like the rest of the farm, and I think this is a beautiful farm for its level and for the design that we're looking at. Now, he's selling something in the store. What's it going to be? Oh, look at that, everybody. Apples and wheat. And I'm going to buy those live on camera. So there you go, sir. I've just bought that, and I hope it really helps you out. Now, you've got a town. Let's go and have a look at the town and see what this is. So this is a level 38 town. I'm not expecting a lot, not for this kind of player. And as you can see, okay, he's got uh, two buildings already. He's got his personal train. Nothing has been opened or expanded here. He's got visitors standing around there waiting to be served. So I could probably guess that this one is brand new for this player. Now, as they start to play this game a little bit more, basically they will start to expand this area and level up these buildings, and then they can start serving more and more visitors. But at the moment, don't worry about it. The town is a nice addition, and you needn't be concerned. Now, that was a really beautiful farm. My favorite aspect has to be this design here in this central area here. I like this a lot. I like the fact you've got this pathway coming down. I like the outhouse. I, I like the hedgerows here. It really does look good. And there are some good designs here that you might want to copy everybody. But this happens to be my favorite part. Okay, right, let's go back to my farm again and have a look at the next person on the list. So let's just remove that one from the bottom. So thank you very much, uh, Tyler's Farm. That was really nice of you to invite me so I can have a look. Next one, we've got here Myersville. Now, Autumn Myers has requested that I go and have a look. So four days, seven hours and 55 minutes ago, let's go and have a shift day. Right, now this is a level 57. Ooh. I like this. This looks really interesting and beautiful. Now, Autumn Myers, you've done a fantastic job here. I like your balance. I like the mixture. I like the contrast between the trees, the path pieces, and the decoration. Really impressive. All right, let's start talking about this one in more detail. Now here you can see where she's actually separated the pig pens from each other. You've got this beautiful Christmas wintry carousel there, which I still don't have, of course. Uh, you've got these ditches around the outside. You've got this mixture of the path pieces, almost like a nice little holiday location for the family or people who are visiting to relax. You've got this little beautiful gramophone playing in the back behind the swing seat. You've got the actual coffee kiosk there as well. Nice path piece going to the actual boat to take you to the fishing area. A nice balance of trees as borders, again with some wintry snowballs and lamps. A really nice blend of bushes, decoration, topiary. It, it does go really, really well. I like this one a lot. Now, as we come down the back here, and you'll see where the smelters are on some of the machines, look at the way you've come down from the dock. You've got this beautiful path piece. That single path piece splits into two here, and then again, it continues down to the back of the farm there. And you've got a really nice mix of trees with the machines, and it breaks it up. And I do like this kind of design a lot. I think it's really important to actually have trees with the machines, because it does break up the imagery sometimes, and it makes it really, really exciting to see something like this because it's much cooler if I do say so. Look at the way they're using the smelters at the back there. You can see the jeweler just hidden as well. And then again, coming down to the mine entrance, you've got more machines behind the trees. Okay, there are a few dead bushes and trees here, but not to worry because it's blended in nicely with the design. It's actually not clumped into one area. And you've got a mix of decorations from some of the different events here as well. So look at this. You've got Christmas decorations. You've got the Halloween. That does go nicely, and I like it. Now, I must admit, I wouldn't like to sit on this seat and put my feet into this pool of water. I would never get up. I think I'd be frozen there for hours and hours and hours. Right, now, behind the house, what have we got? Ooh, there's the birthday cake. Now, this birthday cake we all got when Supercell had a birthday recently. Or, not so recently, but a while ago now. And they became a few years old. Now, inside this cake is Chick Norris. And if we are lucky, he will come out of the cake. So, come on, young man. There he comes. Okay, I just tapped on the cake, and he's about to pop up. There we go, everybody. There's Chick Norris. So, hello there, young sir.
Right, now what I do like is the entrance to this house. I like the fact that you've got different trees on either side here and it really does blend in well. Look at the way she's using these berries here to actually hide most of the road and the actual truck there. It really does look cool. And then you've got again this beautiful path piece, a nice little bridge over the pond there. You've got all of the bushes in the center, again with more trees. It blends in very, very nicely again. Again, a good mix of decoration coming down to the pet area and then back here to where you've got the animal hives and more machines behind the trees. And as you can see, she still needs to expand, but she's almost done. You've got just so many plots of land here to do, and then she can start across the road just over here. So a level 57 farm, very impressive, lots of really good things, I like it. Now because this is a level 57 I'm expecting a little bit more opened up within the town area. So let's go and have a look shall we and see what we've got here. Right, now, as I said, I was expecting a little bit more here, and I'm not disappointed. You can see where she's opened up this area at the back here, a few more spots over the back here as well. Not done everywhere yet, but that doesn't matter. Just take it slow and steady. There's no need to hurry this. Now, very wintry in the town here at the moment, and I must admit, I can't wait to see the seasons change, and we come into the next seasonal decoration, so we can start changing some of the themes around. But a very basic town, very nice, beautiful path pieces moving around the town, and I can see a lot of design potential here. I do like this a lot. You're doing a great job. Even one spot of the beach has been opened up there. So you've got this nice little area for the actual uh, beach hut. It looks good. Right, now that again was a very impressive farm. Uh, if I talk about things I like, it has to be this back section here. This, I think, is my favorite part. I love the way the trees actually blend in with the machines, the path pieces, and the actual smelters there. And I do like the way it comes around the back here as well. I love this kind of design, as you know, and I would encourage more and more people to do this. Right, thank you very much for letting me have the opportunity. Let's go and remove that one off. And we've got a new one that's been added. Oh, yeah. Right, so let's decline that one there. Right, now the next one on the list is Legendary Farmers, everybody. And this one is by Moaz. This one's been there for four days, two hours and 18 minutes. So let's go and have a look, shall we? Right, what have we got here? Now, a mix of decorations again. You've got lots of Halloween decoration there at the back. All decoration mixed in with the buildings. Hmm... Okay, now this is a really interesting design. There are some aspects that I really do love about this. Now, I'm looking at this beautiful area down here. I like what I'm seeing here a lot. I like the mix of the path pieces, the different hedgerows, the actual decoration, the trees, the bushes, the walls, and the animal. It's very unique and unusual. Now, there are some bits here that there's a little bit too much of the decoration where it's all cramped in together. But if you look down here, you see it's very much separated. It's it blends in much nicer, but I, I think it needs a little bit more work in a few spaces just to separate it out. But then again, it's really unique, and this one's kind of unusual. Look at the way they've actually thrown lots of decoration together in twos, in clumps of threes, in clumps of four. It, it, it's quite an unusual design, and I must admit, I don't often see designs that look like this. Now, it's not really very farm-like, but then again, you could say it is. Uh, everywhere you go, it's like you're inside a, a toy shop or inside a kind of shop that's selling everything. And everywhere you look, there is something different. This is actually pretty cool at the end of the day. Okay, it's not something that I would do personally, uh, and maybe you guys out there would not do this either. But just look at the way everything blends in. The machines are scattered all over the place. You've got different topiary, different trees. You've got the odd piece of path and the bushes there. It's quite a wonderful design in many, many ways. I do like it. It kind of grows on you. Anything for sale in there? Yeah, lots of goodies there. So let's give you some of my coins. Thank you very much for all of these items, and I'm going to buy those off you. Now, I will be selling those later.
Now, since this is a level 48, okay, I'm expecting something done in the town. Now, based on the design of the farm I've just been looking at, I have high expectations here, and I wonder what it's going to look like. So let's go and have a look, shall we? And I'm not being disappointed. Now, I like this a lot. Now, it's not overly cramped like the actual farm was. Uh, now, even though I like the farm, this is still very cool as well. Uh, I like the mix of path and hedgerows and topiary and bushes. It does, again, blend in very, very well. There's no continuation. It's like everything is separated. And it's like one area has been developed and one area has been left and then they've moved on to another area. It's really cool. I think the beach is my favourite part. I like this a lot. It's really, really wonderful. Fantastic use of the different path pieces with the hedgerow there. And you've left the trees there, which makes me really, really happy. Now, Moise, okay, you've got a very unusual farm and town. I like it a lot. And just thinking about it, like th this area is pretty cool. Uh, it's quite impressive. I like the energy that you've put into this. And you've got a really interesting design. Now, there are some things that I do feel a little bit cramped, but then again, as I said, it's rather unique and pretty cool. So, well done. Ooh, that one looks nice, though. Hmm. I do like this. Now, this is the area across the road where we've got here's uh, animals, and this is quite charming. I like the actual border around the outside for the trees. Hmm, that's quite pleasant. Right, let's go and remove you off my board and say thank you very much. And we're going to decline that one as well. Now, did I just see that one come back up at the top? I thought I'd already done that one, Tyler's Kingwoods. Yes, I've looked at this one already. So, let's go and get rid of that one off the list. Thank you very much, but no thank you. I've already looked at you. So, let's move back down to the others. The next one is the XP farm. XP, so experience farm. And I've been invited by Jenny. So, Jenny, let's go and have a look at your XP farm. Visit, 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 and here we go. Oh yeah, a level 104. Wow, high level player. You are so lucky. I'm not there yet. Now, as we look around, we can see some really beautiful designs and a good mixture here. Wow, I think I'm going to be impressed with this one. A lot of time and energy has gone into this farm, and it does look good. Now, you're quite lucky today, everybody. You're seeing some really interesting farms, some really cool designs. Look at this entrance from the actual dock. Two gazebos to either side, the rose archway, a nice mix of trees and path pieces, hedgerows there as well, coming to a little pond with a bridge over it, next to the tractor, and then to the farmhouse. More gazebos, another swinging bench there, more swinging benches to create the wall effect down the front and the side of the farm. This looks absolutely fantastic. Look at the way they've got the farmland here. So farmland pieces, nine squares, path pieces around the outside, single fountains in between those to break it up. A really lovely design and I like it a lot. Even the actual use of the land down the actual side as two little border patterns really does go well. Now I must admit this is my favourite part just here from the dock inwards and I like that a lot. I really, really do. That's a really beautiful design and imagery. It gives me a lot of like excitement just looking at this now. Now, as we come down the back here, you'll see where they've actually used the trees as a kind of windbreak. And between the trees, you can start to see some other decoration as well. And that's actually quite nice to see. Look at all those frogs down there. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight frogs, everybody. Wow. That's a lot of frogs, Jenny. And it still continues further down here. So, oh my goodness, does she have a lot of frogs there. And even the mine entrance does look unique. You can see the way she separated the actual animal pens as well, path pieces around the outside. Now this I like, this is what I mean by actually separating the animals everybody. You can have them together like this, but look at the way they actually got the path pieces between the different animal pens and it breaks it up and it makes it into a really unique and interesting design. Look at this beautiful three pattern here, that looks so, so 
good. I like it a lot. And as we come down here, she's got foxes. Oh yeah, foxes, frogs, and donkeys and cats all in the same area. Oh my god, is that so cool? I like that a lot. Now the central piece here is where most of the machines are kept and again they are broken up. Now I've often said many many times about adding actual decoration into this area just to make it more exciting and interesting. And that's what I've got here everybody. I've got some machines here where they're using trees, path pieces to break it up. Look at this point just here. So this tree nicely situated between the two machines takes away the jagged edge of the pathways you've got the contrast of the different path pieces it's quite nice and rather pleasant to look at as we come further down here you'll see that this whole area is opened up and this is what I like as well I'm so glad that it's not boxed in look at the way they've actually got the two bushes in between the fences and then again coming down to this area we've got lots of foxes in the actual berry bushes so cool and even the smelters down there at the front I'm, I'm loving this this is wonderful and look at that wow that gnome is so lucky waterfront property waterfalls in the background beautiful bridge as well nice rocks you've got flowers on the water you've got this beautiful bushes around the outside perfect that's a really really good design and I like that one and I would recommend copying this everybody if you get the opportunity do copy this design because that does look really really good and special and the fact that you're actually using the bushes and the other decoration to hide the edges and the joins makes it look even cooler and it blends in really well I like this a lot and there's the level 100 tree that's what I'm working my way towards at the moment and I so can't wait to get that okay now Jenny I'm really impressed with this I really do like what I'm looking at this whole area the your farm is fantastic and you put a lot of time and energy into doing this now how about your town I wonder let's go and have a look so a level 104 player yes oh oh Oh, I, I like this a lot. It's really, really cool. I'm speechless. This is so good. Look at this design, everybody. I do like the way that she's done this here with the trees. You can see where she's actually joined the hedgerows together to create a nice little box. Then she's got a single tree between them. And then she's using the actual yellow rose bushes around them. So it blends in nicely. So you've got this really wonderful green and yellow design. And that is quite pleasant to look at. I'm really pleased with this. A mix of trees as borders there with some decoration behind as well you've got this wonderful hedgerow and different patterns for the path pieces there again is a lot of love gone into this design and it does look good I'm quite impressed and I actually like that town hall option I might copy that one as well that looks quite nice hmm I do like this town hall design here in the center but I think here in the town this has to be my favorite part that looks really wonderful and I'm quite impressed with the way that looks now how's your beachfront good really really good looks like you've got a nice little convention of people down here you got the gazebo at the end with the Halloween statues in the background there you've got this nice beautiful lamp and tree breaking up you've got the two arches guiding you onto the pathway you've got this beautiful beach area where people can relax and sit and enjoy the waves it's almost as though you've got a, a sailing contest there and everybody's there just sitting relaxing and watching I like it a lot Jenny big thumbs up for you on this one Jenny, you've got a good farm and a good town. Really, really pleased. And I'm going to like this one. 107 likes. I hope you appreciate that one. Right, let's go back and remove that one from my total as well. So scrolling back down to the bottom. And we decline that one. So goodbye, Jenny. And the next person on the list is Darby's Farm Player. And Lini's Farm is the farm I'm going to have a look at here. So let's go and have a look. Right, Lini is a level 47. <clears throat> okay. I like it. I really do like this one. It looks so good as well. Lots of opportunities for expansion. I'm going to be very pleased with what I'm about to show you here. 
Right, now, this happens to be one of my favourite areas for Lini's farm. Now, she's a level 47, so I'm not expecting too much here, uh, but she's actually impressed me. Really, really impressed me. Look at this beautiful design here. Look at the way she's using the path pieces, the hedgerows. It's open. You can walk straight into this barn. Awesome design there. You can walk into this area where the rabbits are. You're greeted by the snowman. You've got little rabbit hutches there. More path pieces walking around. You can sit there just in front of the feed mills. You've got your actual birdhouse there. You've got trophies from the Derby achievements. Wonderful. I like this. An ice cream machine next to the dairy. What more can you ask for once you get off that boat? Pop straight to the dairy. Grab an ice cream. Grab an ice lolly. Wonderful. Wonderful. And again, everything is nicely separated. Everything has its own little specific area. Over here, you've got some machines again. Again, here, more machines, all boxed in, but still open, still given access. Look at this design here. Wonderful. Now, quite often I would ask people to add more trees, but you don't need to. This open area kind of concept is really impressive for me, and I like this a lot. I like the fact that it's open here, that there's nothing there. You can walk in, you can move around. It, it gives you that kind of feeling of freedom, and that's good. Now look at what she's done here with the land. You've got boxes at the back, you've got boxes at the front, and then two or single pieces connecting those together. And again, a very nice design. More box shapes down here. Okay, right, now you've created this wonderful boxed open area for everything else, and then you close it up here. Now... If possible, I would ask you to modify this. Please open it up. Now, I think you should actually open it up just here in the center and then just here in the center here. And then you've got access to both sides coming straight across to the berry bushes. And I think that would be really cool. Now, I can't wait to see how you're going to expand this area. You've got this beautiful area you've opened up here. You've got your animal pens there. I may be expecting you to put some path pieces as you get enough money to continue down into this area. So I must admit, I cannot wait to come back and have a look at this farm much later. You've expanded this area. Okay, you've chopped down all of the trees, which is a shame, but you've left some of the water and some of the rocks. Try to keep those if you can. Try not to actually get rid of them. And then maybe you can do something with it later. Now, again, with your donkeys and your horses, please do open this up. Give yourself some access to this point. Use your idea that you've created over in this wonderful area just here and then do the same thing with these three points, please. And then you've got yourself a really good farm. And I would love, as I said, to come back later and check it out. Now, let's have a look at your town. So 47, I'm expecting a little bit of change, but not too much. Let's see what's been done. <clears throat> right, okay, what have we got here? Now, that is interesting. Now, I like the fact that you've actually got this boxed-in area here with the fountain and the lampposts, and then it kind of, it's almost like a fishing hook in many ways. And I like the fact that it goes around the back and it goes around the front here, and you've created a really wonderful design here. Now, I'm pleased that you haven't chopped the trees down, and I really hope that you do leave them there, because if you were to chop those trees down, then I think maybe you're going to ruin the design, because what you've got here is a wonderful start to the design. You've also got visitors who are waiting to give you some little packages, so head on over to your town and start collecting. Now, good use of those new bushes we've been given within the game. A nice little blended in area there for the grocers. Okay, more gifts, nice path pieces. Yep, you've got a really interesting design aspect in the works here for your town as well. And that does please me. Okay, right, now overall, what did I think of this farm? I was very, very happy. I love this area here. I love this back area. I just want you to change this, and I want you to change this. Open it up a little bit more, and then maybe finish off the path area here as you get more coinage. But this happens to be my favorite part of your design. This opened up area does look good, so big thumbs up for you there on that one. Right, let's go and remove that one from my list. <coughs> Right, so Lenny has gone there. Okay, right, now I've looked at a couple of farms in this video. Let's get back to my truck and start working on my experience points. Now we've got some more orders there. That one there's for 2,000, so that can go. What do these visitors want? Popcorn. You cannot have my popcorn because you never know I might need it in a truck. 
butter, no chance. You can take the long walk as well. Now, let's get some more resources on the go. Sort that out. I need butter, as you've just seen there. Let's do some of those as well. Get that going. How are you finding the event at the moment, everybody? Are you doing quite well or are you struggling with the products? Because these events, even though they do give lots of experience, they do require you to keep making items. And if you stop making the items, then a truck comes along, cleans you out of everything, and then you've got to start all over again, building up your resources. Just so you can make more experience points within the game. And sometimes when you do that, you find that you run out and then before you had the chance to make things again, the truck event is over. Oh no, the truck event is over. That's not so good. Right, now, I'm going to continue here getting my resources ready. I've looked at a couple of farms. I'm going to keep working towards my experience, but I'm also going to say goodnight, everybody. Now, that's Red Knight here signing off. I'd like to wish you all a happy heyday, and do enjoy the event. So, see you all in the next video, and goodbye.